Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And it went straight into the game there, so I didn't, uh, that's why I didn't speak straight off the bat. Already looking nice and gorgeous, looks like we need to go and press this button here. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Oh, hello. New buttons I haven't used before. Inventory. Cool, this is going to be painful, people. B and Y are the other way around, and A and... <laughs> the buttons are all the, the other way around. For anyone who hasn't seen the vlog of me buying the Switch, I have just bought it this 21st of November 2018. My first go at this game. And I'm using the Pro Controller, which is absolutely awesome. But it's going to take me a little while to get used to the buttons being a different in different places than the... Well, probably the most similar one, which is the Xbox. So... Clothes, perhaps? Woohoo! Well worn trousers. These old trousers are threadbare in spots and they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. Oh, well, never mind. Very good. Uh, if we hit A to put them on. Aha! Very nice. Well, that's handy. The two things I needed most, and it's just given me them. Ha! 
<laughs> That'll be the sword button then. Uh, huh, huh? I've no sword. What the hell? <clears throat> I'm going to assume that there's nothing else I can do here. Oh, I see. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Open Sesame! Wow, there's a burst of colour. No mistake. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Let's do this. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. <laughs> what the hell is X? What? Okay. I think I'm just going to have to try and forget the letters altogether. That's awesome. You just climb up any wall. Wow. Check that out. There's an eye opener, Mr. Frodo, and no mistaken. How gorgeous is that? The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Big volcano in the background there, look. So with some old bloke with a beard wandering around these RPGs. The Great Plateau, no less. Well, that's where we came from. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do too much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Seems reasonable. Better than nout. <clears throat> Attack with your equipped weapon. <laughs> Just started running up that rock without me doing anything. Awesome. Mushroom, anyone? A common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. I think we'll be taking plenty of mushrooms for now, then. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every time I get to pick something up, I'm hitting the wrong button, people. The wrong one. Nope. 
I love the way he just he just clambers over whatever it is you're running onto, whether a rock or a fence or whatever there. Also, the dust flying off his feet when he hits the dirt sometimes. Hey, oh, there he is. Link. Yes, I can hear you. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. Check Sheikah slate. Access your Sheikah slate with the minus button. Right, okay. These are quite good, these plus and minus buttons, because they give you an, an extra, extra set of controls to use on the old thing, don't they? I think. Ah, there we go. From out of nowhere, you hear a woman's voice speak to you. She instructs you to head to the marker displayed on Sheikah's slate. The slate is both alien and somehow familiar to you. You find that you can access its map by pressing the minus button. Seem reasonable. Follow the chic slate. <laughs> well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Uh, who are you? Hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'll thank you. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time. What brings a bright young man like you to a place like this? <laughs> well, that's not a bar chat line. I don't know what is. Where are we? Answering a question with a question, that's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I can be of service. Well, I don't know, mate. You weren't that helpful just now. So I don't know if I would come back to you, to be honest. But anyway, ooh! What's this? Is this a sword? I think it might be. Hello. Oh, it's a woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it slow and inefficient weapon. Uh, hmm. But still... It may come in handy for now. You can switch weapons quickly. Press and hold. Uh... Oh, I see. Seems reasonable. Ah, that's good, isn't it? Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Don't seem to be able to roll or anything yet. Not sure if that's a thing or not. But soon we'll find out, I suppose. Oh, you can sprint though. Look. Uh. <gasps> Something over there. I don't, oh, hello. <laughs> Not quite what I was looking to do, but anyway. That's definitely a sword up there if I don't get eaten by some form of shark before I get there. Absolutely gorgeous, this game. If I've had any critique about it so far, it's the, the panning around is a little bit on the sticky side. 
Um, I'm not sure if I heard something about that. On they were saying it does pan a bit better in 720p on the handheld, but you know that aside, I mean it's a very small criticism. I mean it's not. I wouldn't say that's even a fixed 30. I think it would be less than that. But it's a gorgeous game. It'll have its V-Sync on, no doubt. Ooh, the rusty broadsword. Well, it was sat up there, wasn't it? In quite the pl quite the plinth it was put on. And it was just a rusty broadsword, but never mind. I think we'll go with that for now. Seems like a much... Uh, Better weapon all round. Uh, six and two, and that's six. What does the dash two mean? Oh, no, wait a minute. Six is what I'm holding, isn't it? Yeah. So that's six, that's three, that's two. Being reasonable. Right, we have a sword. I was kind of looking for the dive button is what I was looking for. Not seeing one though. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Scoosh through water. Thank you. Temple of Time. Oh, hello, there's a bad guy down there. Well, is that the Temple of Time? Or is that the Temple of Time? I would think that's the temple. This could be the ruins of something else. Go and have a look. The guy did seem to... S well, mind you, we've got the marker, haven't we? We should be heading toward that, really. Alright. Oh, hello. This could be our first fight coming up. <laughs> Roasted bird drumstick. Well, I never... Oh, <laughs> well, that wasn't meant to bloody happen, was it? Well, that was bloody rubbish, that sword. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, I think we'll have uh, an axe then. Sure, why not? Right, we'll have to figure out how we keep our weapons from breaking. Oh, hello. Can we lock onto these people or not? Uh, <laughs> I don't think that was meant to happen. <laughs> Woo! You must be able to lock on, surely. He's dead. Bokoblin horn. Bokoblin horn, something like that. The severed horn of a Bokoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule, is it isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Well, at least my axe didn't break yet. Hot-footed frog, a quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. All right. Bit of potion stuff going on then in this game. It's gorgeous though, isn't it? Check that out. I'm just curious. Let's just see if there's... No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> a 
That's the back button. I was looking for a menu button, which I haven't found yet. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I might go for the sensitivity being fast. Finding it a little bit sluggish. That was the wrong button, Stephen. Ah, oh, that feels a bit better. Ah, it's better, that's better. Hmm. To be fair, the guy did actually point us toward that. I know it's not where the marker is, but the guy did point to that big church. Then we'll go and have a look, will we? We shall go and see what's going on up there. Good though, hello. Good though the axe was. There must be a way of locking onto enemies. Sorry for that. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I've not tried a trigger button, have I? Ah, here we go. Easy. <laughs> the Bacoblin horn again. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Shiny. Ooh. Hylian trousers. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable. And their highly durability uh, their high durability makes them ideal for travellers, no less. Right, we'll be getting those slacks on. Oh, for God's sake, Stephen. <laughs> I might actually get used to this controller at some point tonight, people. Oh, they're much nicer trousers, aren't they? Check that out, people. Sexy! Sexy trousers. Whoa, what was that? Apple. Choo-choo jelly. A gelatinous, 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 yeah, that's right. A gelatinous substance that ca came from a choo-choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Yeah. I wonder if it could be made into sort of bomby type stuff or something. Uh, no. Uh, no. That's the one. I knew I'd put my weapon away at some point. Oh, wow, check the skull out down there. It's awesome. Something in it as well. Shining. Looks massive, doesn't it? There's plenty to be going and exploring. Hello, we get who lives here, please. <clears throat> Not much going on in here. Do 
Does seem to be auto saving down at the bottom left there. <laughs> that axe is brilliant. Strike! A Bokoblin Fang! A tooth obtained from a Bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Seems reasonable. You can throw the weapon in your hand. Yeah, I think I did that by mistake, to be fair. Uh, aim and hold, throw and release. That direction we need to go. I've not been, uh, not been in there though, have I? This section here. Well, I've lost my bearings. Is that this isn't where the old guy was, is it? No, he's further back. I seem to remember when I watched a clip of this at one point. Yeah, you can cut the grass down. Nice. Now I'm going way off kilter here. I'm supposed to be going in the opposite direction. Probably going to stumble across something magnificently harsh and I'll get killed. Well, I'm not in a position to be taking three of them on at once. And there's a whole snowy section going on up there. Spicy pepper. This pepper is ex is exploding with spice. Cook with it to create dishes that with uh, will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. All right, okay. Must have to sort that out before we go into that area then. Yeah, there's a little temperature gauge look down at the side. His face. <laughs> okay, no. right, we're not ready for that yet. We've not even got a court. If your stamina wheel runs out, you'll be too tired to do certain actions until it fills again. That seems reasonable, right? That seemed reasonable. Squirrels! Okay, right. Let's let's crack on to the first point. I always do this with RPGs. I go far too off kilter and and then I end up discovering that the best thing I could have done was just go to the first bloody point it told me to go to. Run to the hills. Run for your life. I do believe you get a horse at some point as well. That'll speed things up a bit running around, won't it? Uh, now we can climb down. Is he going to do that or is it? Oh, hello. That made for easy work. Badges over there. Ah, look. Ah, uh, okay. 
That looks a little bit ominous, so it does. Looks like what looks like an exploding barrel over there. Get a little fight going here. See if we can take on more than one. <laughs> they certainly don't like this axe, do they? At all. Oh, hello. Oh, I wonder if I get his bow. Nice. Thank you. That'll help out. Uh, stop. Well, draw your bow, fire your... Yeah, okay. The triggers, that's what the triggers are for. Excellent. Oh, you've got to collect arrows, right, okay. <laughs> Bloody hell, how many pickups? Nice, let's put the bow on for us. Uh, change bow, you can switch bows quickly using the draw bow and then maybe. No. Hmm. <laughs> well, I discovered that by mistake. Um, I'm misunderstanding something about the bow here. Okay, so that's... Okay, I've got it. So it's just it's just the right trigger, isn't it? Jesus Christ. First time we're hit. Oh, I've not got any... All oh, right. I've not got any... Uh... Arrows left. Shield. Raise your shield with the left trigger. Seems reasonable. Ooh, new sword. Thank you. Yes, much as much as though this axe is good fun, I'm, uh, I could do with a sword now. I think. Hey, now we're talking, people. Now we're talking. Uh, all right, we're nearly there, actually, at the marker. Oh, wow. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> Place the Shika slate in the pedestal. Go on, Link, you can do it. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. Oh, God, here we go. 
Earthquake! <laughs> that went well. Wow. Release the towers. Great Plateau Tower. Oh, I see. We've gone right up, haven't we? Distilling local information. Well, that's handy. Gives us a little map each time. Hundred years. <sighs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. I don't know, they wake you up after a hundred years and asking you to do all sorts. Follow the Sheikah Slate complete. I mean, this is, well, from what we saw at the back there with the snowy area, this is just one section of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the, uh, yeah, you can. You can see the towers over in the distance up there. Two, three. So we've got a fair amount of ground to cover. You figure out how to get down first. Uh... Excuse me, is there a lift? Oh, hello, here we go. You want me to climb down? What? Climbing tutorial? built this thing. Gonna sick. Oh, I could climb down I suppose, but running seems to be the quickest way down. Oh! What the hell was that? Oh here he is. Hey my, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. The tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after the other. 
It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. Would you believe it? If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Hmm. Well now, a voice, you say? And did you happen to recognise this mysterious voice? Uh, no. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that, ve that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appears suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has, has managed to contain that veil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs, with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death would be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine that would be quite another story hand it over <laughs> paraglider oh piqued your interest have i yes i didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings you know worry not i will happily agree to give you my paraglider but not for nothing let's see now how about i trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby seems reasonable the Isolated Plateau. Your adventures will be detailed here. After your descent from the tower, old man, blah, blah. Yeah, we know. We get, we get it. Let me show you something. Oh, I Easy now. Do you see that structure there, the one shining with a strange light? I do. It began glowing at the exact moment these towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider, a fair exchange, I believe. Very well, old man! Now, we need to figure out... Oh, no. <laughs> How do we save it, people? Well, that's the quick map, which is quite cool. Um... Alright, it's actually got a take a picture button. Nice. I did get to a... There we are. This is what we're looking for. Apart from I've hit the wrong button again. <laughs> for the love of God. There we are. Well, that was all in aid of saying that I think that's a perfect place to wrap things up for this first little part of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. 
Um, only because I've just finished doing the vlog of unboxing my Switch and everything, and I had promised that I would try and get a little bit of Zelda up this evening on the channel if I could, or at least have it uploading while I went to my bed. So I will go off and render all of what we've just done. I will be playing a lot more of this on the channel if you guys want to see it. It has been an honour and a privilege unboxing my Switch and all the little bits I got for it in the vlog earlier and playing this for you this evening. And I shall see you all in the next part, folks. Take it easy. Bye.